There were three disqualifications in big women's judo matches at the Ulaanbaatar Grand Slam, and we're going to have a look at those matches and some similar incidents from the past in today's video. So the first one we're going to look at is Tsukasa Yoshida of Japan, the Olympic bronze medal winner, former world champion. Now here, she threw her opponent with a one-handed Sode Tsuri Komigoshi, and the opponent was injured. The referee called for a video review, and this one was ruled to be legal. Let's have a look at it again. Daria has hold of Yoshida's left sleeve, and Yoshida throws using her right hand. So the match continued. So this was a pretty fun match, so I'm going to include quite a lot of clips from this match. I'm not sure if there were issues with Yoshida going into this tournament. She did not return for the repercharge charge after being disqualified during this match. I am going to have one more video looking at this tournament later on my channel today. And here is the final incident which resulted in Hansoku Make. So once again, Daria gripping Yoshida's left sleeve and this time Yoshida, when she throws for Sode Tsuri Komigoshi, it's ruled Hansoku Make. I think the difference between this and the last one is that Yoshida's shoulder made impact below the elbow, which caused some pressure on the joint. Not the first time Daria has been a victim of this technique. Next we'll have a look at Natsumi Tsunoda. So, I was quite disappointed to see Sonoda's final end so quickly in such an unexpected fashion. We see a wakigatami applied from standing. You're not allowed to apply submission hold during a throw attempt. Here's a look at Mumpfbat who twisted the arm but wasn't applying a throw, was able to follow it up with Tani Otoshi. You can see the difference here. We'll also have a look at an earlier attempt. Now this looks very similar. There was a throw attempt. Why it's not Wakigatame is that the Russian girl's forearm is behind Sonoda's elbow rather than her armpit. Waki in Japanese is armpit, so it's not Wakigatame, whereas that is the armpit coming right in and pressuring down on the lock. So that's the second of the big DQs from yesterday. Now the last clip for this video will be from the 48 kilo bronze medal match. Another Russian involved this time. This time it's the Russian that got disqualified. This is uh, Giliazova who we just saw applying some pressure to Natsumi Tsunoda's arm. Now the Kazakhstan girl was on two Shidos, so it was the Kazakhstan girl in blue that needed to take the risks. However, the Russian girl was disqualified for attacking the support leg. Really was a timing issue. You can see from the replays that the Kazakhstan girl's second leg had almost returned to the mat. And she had no problem walking off after winning the bronze medal. So I'm going to have another video looking at the day's action coming up later today. That'll include Natsumi Tsunoda, Daria and more.